more than that. Good morning, Diane. Boy, you hit that one right on the head. This is a man we probably don't see enough of over here. We need to invite him back as, as often as we can. He does a lot for our community. You may see him more often than not during our St. Jude telethon. He is the man responsible for the homes that get built out there. I'm talking about Jairo Alvarez. He's here with us now this morning to talk a little bit about that, a little about a birthday coming up. And did you know he's an author as well? Pleased to welcome Jairo yeah. Alvarez. Good to see you this morning, Jairo. How are you? Good to see you, man. Thank you for having me. Well, it, we, like I said, love having you. We need to have you more because, I mean, you just do uh, so much here. And I wanted to, let's start, actually, everybody knows you through St. Jude and the right. fact that you are the man and the construction company behind the building of the homes. And this week... This week, you started building yes. the new home, correct? We're ready. Is it, We're what ready. number is this? We are going to raise... I, well, this is, is the, number 10 for our this company. This is number 10. Uh, we hope to raise... Uh, this year, we need to raise, with the help of the community, 1,000,000.5. 1, 1,000,000.5 for the total. With telephone. that, we will complete my goal to have $12 million for some use. That's right. That's, that's, now, that's the year. goal that you set at the very beginning of your involvement. I, I set it for 10, but then I couldn't get it. I know. I <laughs> remember you saying that. You no, set it for I, 10 years and no, said, I'm not doing No, I got a new one. Uh, I don't tell you. What is the number? <laughs> tell, tell us after the end of this telephone. <laughs> yeah. So you've begun building this new home already. This is something that really is a, it, it, it's part of your life. It really is a driving yeah, oh yeah. force. It is part. It is part. This is, a, and speak, you know, speaking of your life, you're about to celebrate 70 years. 70 years. And you're going to do it with a bike ride on the levee tomorrow, yeah. right? 70 miles yeah. with a bunch of different uh, gr bicycle right. groups from around here, right. correct? Yeah, man, uh, about over four years, four years ago. I was 42 pounds overweight, mm -hmm. so I decided to have my bike and get out. And in the last three years, I have the, the senior uh, champion for Louisiana, Mississippi, Arkansas. I've been a couple of times in the National Olympics representing Louisiana. Wow. And I have a goal. I have a goal to bring a gold medal in the Olympics next year from uh, San Francisco. So uh, I going to start tomorrow. We are going to be at uh, Burbank and Blue Bonnet in the parking lot of okay. Alberson. Yes. I invite all the cyclists. Uh, no matter, you don't have to do 70 miles. Bring your bike, by the way. Yeah, no if you want to make only one mile, make a mile. We are going to adjust to all uh, different conditions of the people. And but you're going to try to get 70. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's going to be, it's a good, good challenge you for myself. You're going to have beautiful weather. Diane yeah, has, has brewed you up something that's, so nice. That's what she was family. saying just a few minutes ago. It's she punched the nice button just for you. Oh, yeah, she works with me. I told her about a week ago, I know. two months ago, to to make the plans for me in that way. Well, so. she's sweet on you. She yeah, likes you a little She put bit. a huge umbrella well, on the Louisiana. She's domed it for you. <laughs> um, I want to talk a little bit about this book, No Such yeah. Thing as Impossible. I don't know if we get a shot at this. Now, this is a book that, that, uh, that you wrote. It's really all about your life, your family's life, as you made the transition from Colombia to the United States, what it took, everything involved with mm -hmm. this. It really is a, a life story about, not, not just yours, but a family's journey. Right, correct, correct, Matt. And a couple of years ago, I was, uh, uh, I had a great experience with the cancer, and uh, my children surprised yeah. me coming to the hospital with their tape recorded and asking me to record some of my experience. Sure. I have seen my library is simple, but they, they made me think about I said, what is going on behind this? And uh, my life has been full of challenges. I have been in the most incredible situation a human being uh, could, could be here yeah. in Colombia, in America, because come from raising up in the mountains of Colombia in a potato farm with no water, no electricity, no nothing. And, then end up in uh, in the military, and I was a teenager. I was fighting the guerrillas in the jungle in, yes. as a lieutenant, yes. uh, and I was then uh, uh, in charge of the security of the president when President Kennedy went to Colombia, and I had beautiful experience. And something when uh, uh, something happened that uh, for the good of my country and for my good, and uh, 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 military aircraft took me down in Miami in the military force, and I start from scratch with no language, you know, no, no, basically no money, no nothing, and, and here I am very successful due to uh, uh, my faith in God and, uh, and the support of many angels. That, that what I dedicate my book to all my angels, because here in America you find angels all over the place. Angels everywhere. I remember yeah. you and I talking about this when you first yeah. gave me this book, the fact that 
you were glad your kids did this because you were you were a little little troubled with the fact that your father had so many stories and none of them were handed yeah. out, written out, passed down. Yeah, yesterday I had a beautiful experience. I ordered I catch it about a month ago, mm -hmm. training on the bike, and I it broke three uh, three ribs, oh. and I had to buy a new helmet. And yesterday I had that helmet. And uh, I have the helmet with uh, nine languages, in nine languages. No kidding. And I said, and now I have a beautiful grandson. He's a year old. He, he comes to visit me, and he's like a little pet, crawling around. And I look at him, I said, oh, look, what is the manual for this kid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When he got a problem with, the, he ever had any sure. problems with weight or alcohol or sure. cigarettes or prescription drugs or marriage or the military, like I yeah, did. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm very pleased with the book. And now he's, he's, uh, now he's got this to look back at. I want to mention something yeah, very yeah. important. I, well, I, wanna, so, I want to make sure, we got to go yeah. right real quick, but I want to make sure that the, the people know about the book signing. The January all the profits 26. are going to go to charity. Yeah, charity. absolutely. All the profits That's are going to charity. And we've got another book signing. His other, his last book signing on the 8th, sold out of books. This one, January 26th, Barnes & Noble. Get out there. As you mentioned, all the profits going to charity. Hi, Juan Perez. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very, very, very much. Soon. I hope to see the cycle. Absolutely. Have a seat. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If you go, we all have to go. Yeah. Oh, right yeah. <laughs> Stay with us. We'll see you in a minute. Yeah. Oh, you need to get the bike. Right.